Hey, this is Dr. Barry. Let's talk for just a few minutes about how to cure toenail fungus. Now, we know millions of people suffer from this ugly problem, and most people don't realize it, but it can actually lead to very serious infections as well of the toe and of the foot and even of the leg. So, toenail fungus is not only an ugly problem we'd rather not see, it can also be dangerous as well. Now, if you know someone who has ugly toenail fungus, Please share this with them because you can help them so much by doing that. You can uh, share this right where you're at, or you can share it on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. You can even send an email or a text message for your friend. So let's talk about toenail fungus and how to cure it. Now, if you implement the strategies that I'm about to list in this video, you're going to cure your toenail fungus, okay? But you have to realize it takes a long time to do that and the toenail fungus will come back if you don't continue. If you don't basically make these part of your daily strategies, the toenail fungus can come back. Toenail fungus usually affects older people more commonly than it affects younger people, but even young people can be affected. It usually affects men more than women, but women can definitely have it too. Uh, the toenail fungus basically jumps on board at a place that's not very well protected by your immune system but then is also very protective when it comes to a fungus from the environment and so it's kind of it's kind of a perfect little setup for this uh, fungus that we'll talk about so toenail fungus is caused by either dermatophytes or yeasts or molds now all of those sound gross and you don't really want those but let me tell you first and foremost we all have yeast and dermatophytes and molds on our body all the time our immune system is used to that it just fights them off if if it is strong enough and if the environment around your tissue is normal then your body can just fight funguses off like it's nothing and so you have bacteria you have fungus you have virus they're all over you all the time and if that freaks you out you got to get used to that you got to just come to grips with that. You are covered both inside and outside with fungus, viruses, and bacteria. It's just part of being a human being. We can't help that. But what we can do is make the environment so inhospitable that they can't get under the skin, or in this case, under the nail, and start doing their dirty work. So we let's talk about this now. Fungus. We know this is this is mushrooms uh, is a macroscopic example, but there are thousands of different species of microscopic fungus dermatophytes and yeast that can colonize the human body we know that fungus like mushrooms love dark places they love moist places and some yeasts and funguses love warm places and so you can think of the inside of your shoe as being kind of it's, it's dark it's warm it's moist humidity. so the yeast is perfectly at home right there <laughs> And so you have to work on that. Also, you have to remember that yeast. Không, con đứa vẫn đòi hỏi sói bác. That's that's how we turn grape juice into wine. Is the the yeast eats up the sugar. Em ngày xưa đòi hàng xóm đấy. Loves it. Yeast, they don't like to eat protein. Thì bố mẹ đi làm ăn xa. They like sugar. And so now let's talk about the strategies to cure your toenail fungus. And keep in mind, this is going to take at least six months. Because if you have an ugly toenail like the one in, in the thumbnail, you that nail is already damaged. You can't fix that nail. That nail will have to grow up, and it takes from four to seven months for the average adult human big toenail to grow off. Okay. And so if you drop a cinder block on your toe, it's going to take about six months for it to grow a complete new toenail. And that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to stop the, the yeast or the fungus in its tracks and then new nail is going to have to grow out. But the old nail that's already messed up, you'll just have to keep trimming it straight across until it grows out. Okay, so you can't reverse the damage that's already done. You just have to grow a new healthy nail while keeping the fungus and the dermatophytes and the yeast at bay. And so here's how you're going to do it. Strategy number one is to fix your diet. Did you see that coming? Yeah, you got to eat low carb. You got to eat almost no sugars, very few starches. If you eat a carbohydrate, it needs to count. It needs to be locked up in fiber and full of vitamins and minerals. You need to eat a, a low carb, high healthy fat or a ketogenic diet. That's going to make your body much less hospitable 
for all fungus, all yeast, all bacteria, and all viruses. They don't like that kind of environment. They want a sugar-filled environment. And so you've got to move your diet, perhaps from the standard American or the standard UK or Canadian diet, to a low-carb, high, healthy fat diet. And then the, the viruses and the fungus just, they won't like you as much. You won't taste as good. And so it'll make your toenail less hospitable to them. That's number one. Number two, you got to think about the toenail environment. Where do yeast and funguses like to grow? They like dark, they like closets, they like humid, they like warm, they like moist. That is the perfect environment inside your shoe. So you're going to have to make it a habit. Wear your shoes when you have to, but anytime you don't have to have your shoes on, so the second you get home, you're going to take your shoes and socks off, and you're going to go barefoot as much as you can. That's going to dry out that nail, that's going to get more light to that area, and it's not going to be as warm, and so the fungus is going to like your toenail a lot less. Next is the sun. This is the silver magic bullet for, for fungus and yeast. Just as uh, mushrooms, they don't love to grow in the sun. They'd much prefer to grow under a tree or deep in the forest. That's where they like. They don't like direct sunlight, and so you seldom see a mushroom out in, in direct sunlight for long. And the fungus on your toenails is no exception. The yeast, the fungus, they're dermatophytes. They do not like sunlight. So if you can get five minutes a day of sun on your toes, that's going to help eradicate the fungus and keep the fungal count so low that it's just not able to get into the toenail. Now, so sun, sun five minutes a day is a big, big deal. It's free, it's easy, and you might get some vitamin D in the process. Next are all the soaks that you may have seen on other YouTube videos, the apple cider vinegar soak, the Vic salve. There's actually some limited research that shows that it probably does lower the, the fungal load and will help to cure your, your toenail fungus, but it's not 100%. None of these things are really 100%. It takes all this together for you to cure that toenail fungus, okay? And so, yeah, do apple cider vinegar soak once a week. Do the, the Vic salve regimen. They're gonna help, but you can't do just that in the have to fix your diet and you have to fix the environment of the toenail or you're not going to have much success with the soaks. The next is hygiene. Now I'm not saying you're dirty. I'm not saying your feet are stinky. I'm just saying you need to get, take your old toothbrush and put it in the shower. You need a new toothbrush anyway, right? right. So get a new toothbrush and put the old one in the shower. Every time you wash your feet, after you've soaked them up, you're going to take that the toothbrush and you're going to scrub gently the crevices around your toenails, okay? Because there are microscopic particles of lint, dead skin cells, and maybe some dirt that get caught in there. And if you just wash with your hands, you're not getting all that out. And just a quick little scoop with the, the, tooth, the bristles of the toothbrush, you're going to get all that microscopic debris out of there, which would otherwise hold moisture and also help the fungus to hide under all that junk, right? So use your, use your toothbrush every time you're in the shower just make that part of your daily regimen, okay? Next is keep your toenails trimmed neatly, but don't trim around the corners and don't ever dig and try to dig the fungus out. All you're gonna do is increase your risk of an infection and it can be quite a serious infection sometimes or you'll get an in ingrown toenail from that. So don't do that. Just trim them straight across, keep them neat. And then lastly, the last hygiene tip is to blow dry your toes after you dry off. Because if you just dry your foot off with a towel, there's still water in the crevices, right? There's still water under the toenail. But if you throw a hair dryer on there and, and blow dry your toes for three minutes, it's not gonna take much time out of your day and it's gonna thoroughly dry those toes before you have to put on your, your socks and shoes if you have to do that. And so just those changes in your regimen are gonna cost you an extra three minutes a day, but they're gonna greatly decrease the hospitability, is that a word? of your toenails for fungus. Your fungus just ain't gonna like it because it's so clean, it's so dry, there's so much air getting to the area. And then if, uh, and so now remember what I said, even if you do all these things, it's gonna take six months for the old damaged toenail to grow off and for the new toenail to come back. Okay, and you'll have a good normal toenail. Now, if you do all this stuff for six months and you still have fungus, then you should probably go see your doctor. <coughs> Because if you fixed your diet and you're getting sun on those toes and you're doing the soaks, your immune system should really be stronger because of the low-carb, healthy-fat diet. 
lâu chưa vào cái ngõ đấy trước vào suốt nếu ông đam cũng mới xây And so some few people have to take the prescription medication for toenail fungus. So let me tell you a little about that in case you have to. It's called Lamisil Turbinifin. And the recommendation is for you to take one pill a day for six weeks. Now, Lamisil works. There's no doubt about it. But it's very harsh on your liver. Uh, the way I describe it to patients is it makes your liver do lots of extra push-ups every day. And your liver doesn't like doing extra push-ups. And so if you do take it, try to just take it for two weeks, once a day for two weeks instead of once a day for six weeks. Because if you're doing all the things I listed in the regimen, all you'll need is two weeks and that'll be the end of the fungus, okay? Then you can just keep doing the, the other things in the regimen because you've made them part of your daily life. They're a habit now. You don't even think about them. If you do have to take the Lamisil for six solid weeks, you need to make sure that your doctor's checking your liver function at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end of that therapy because sometimes Lamisil can be very harsh on your liver. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you can